I think I'll even say that the turmoil of the 60s and 70s, that's the age when I was a teenager, and, you know, the late 60s, early 70s, only uh, reinforced my skepticism. When John and Robert F. Kennedy were assassinated, or Martin Luther King was gunned down, when Vice President Agnew was kicked out of office and Richard Nixon soon after him, when the race riots erupted in city streets like mine, and gang fights erupted in our cities, many of those which I was involved in, when I saw the bizarre and senseless carnage of Vietnam, they all confirmed the lesson that was already ingrained in me and that my father had taught me so well, that the world is dominated by random, consuming, undiscriminating violence. And very soon I began to ask why. Why would God make it that way? Why wouldn't he just pop us into heaven from the first and spare us all this suffering? Why does he let little children in Vietnam get napalmed and run down the street naked on fire when they had done nothing to deserve it? And why does he let the race riots go on? Why does he let the leaders be assassinated? Why does he just let the violence go on and on and on for people who had nothing to do with it? It wasn't of their own making. Why didn't he just make us angels and pop us into heaven if he could make us angels, which I was always taught he could? Why did he make us so susceptible to sin? Why didn't he make us impervious to it? Like he made the angels. Is this the best world he could create, I thought? Is this the most perfect world he could create for our existence? For our beginning? I just couldn't figure it. And all the explanations I received from priests and doctors and lawyers, you know, from whoever, you know, spoke to me or taught me, they just didn't make sense to me. In any case, so I became an atheist when I was 16, even though I was going to Catholic school at the time. I declared myself an atheist in one class. It was a confrontation between me and a priest. We were talking about God and the purpose of life. And I expressed my views, and he said, well, then you don't believe in God. I said, well, I guess I don't. And then through my junior, uh, junior and senior year of high school, I got an F in religion, even though I continued to do very well on the test. <clears throat> In any case, when I was 28, to make a long story short, some friends of mine gave me a copy of the Quran. <clears throat> and one night I was sitting in Diamond Heights, my apartment in Diamond Heights in San Francisco. I was working that time at the University of San Francisco. I was 27, 28 at that time, I can't remember. And I ran out of stuff to read, and I took this gift that my friends gave me and I began to read it. And I came to the first verse... Well, I opened the Quran, read the first page, then the second, and then very quickly, in the second surah, about 37 verses into the Quran, I came upon the story of mankind. 